Hello there, I'm Ben and this is my isolation cab and I'm here today to demonstrate it to you. Uh, before I do that I just want to explain a little bit about it. Um, obviously a lot of us uh, use different methods these days to get, get good guitar sounds. You can do a lot of stuff with, with amp modelling but there's very few of us that, that could honestly say that you can get a better sound than the sound you get when you're using a good old fashioned valve amplifier and it's to do with the way the tubes break up when, when you turn the volume up and that's the problem a lot of the time is that to get that really good tone you want to crank that thing up uh, unfortunately for a lot of us recording in houses whatever else cranking up that valve amp just isn't an option and that's where this comes in uh, just to run you through what's inside it it's got two layers it's made out of 18mm MDF. Um, I've used on the inside to absorb a lot of the sound, just some, some packing foam basically, nothing exciting. What I would have liked to have used was, uh, was rock wool, but um, I, I'd sort of done this project as an experiment. I didn't want to spend too much money. So pretty much all the materials, even the speaker, um, was just stuff I had lying around. The speaker's just a, a 30 watt, 10 inch, speaker that I think came out of a Fender Pro Junior. Uh, I just had it lying around in a cupboard for years. Um, I'm going to be recording uh, some sound clips for you. I'm going to do that with with an SM57 which is mounted on the gooseneck you can see inside there and uh, the amp I'm going to be using to drive the speaker is a Laney VC30. It's a 30 watt amp which is driven by uh, for EL, EL84s um, and, uh, and I think some 12AX7s, not completely sure. Anyway, lovely sounding amp um, and we'll hear that in action in just a minute. First thing I want to demonstrate to you though is what happens when we take the lid off. I'm going to get my dB meter out and just give you a, a quick demo of, uh, of the difference between the lid off and the lid on. So this is with the lid open and uh, you should be able to see there I'm getting uh, getting on for 110, not quite, but almost up to 110 decibels. This is pretty loud. We're just going to put the lids back on. And now we should see, yep, we're getting around about 70. Okay, so we saw there what this cab does in terms of reducing the noise level. 70 decibels is a substantial improvement from, uh, from the noise level we had before with the lid open. And, and that 70 decibels, it's really not going to annoy anyone. My neighbours aren't going to be too bothered about that in the evening, whereas, whereas normally to get that kind of tone, I could only do that in the day because a cranked up valve amp just sounds too loud. And that was only with it at level 4. Um, you could, of course, if you wanted to, you could get an attenuator to reduce the sound of your valve amp, to reduce the volume, um, and you'd still be able to to get a lower output. Um, but the thing with attenuators is you don't you don't push the speaker very hard when you're using one, and also they're quite expensive. And this for me was a, a great way to to reduce my volume because I had all the stuff available to me already to make the cab out of. Um, Having said that, um, PV just recently, they've put out the uh, PV Windsor Studio, which I, I recommend you take a look at. I haven't had a chance to play with one myself, but it does come with a built-in attenuator, and it also, also comes with a, a simulated output. So if you want to, you can crank the, the attenuator up to full and, and just plug it straight into your, your recording equipment or whatever, and uh, that's something I want to be able to experiment with at some point. Um, what I want to do now is uh, just to try out a few more tones because obviously, um, yeah, you, you want to hear it in action. So, uh, yeah, here goes. This isn't a particularly high gain amp, but um, with, the, uh, with the volume up full um, and when the tubes really start breaking up, it's quite a respectable grind you get out of it. Um, so I've been playing with that and uh, here's how it sounds. <laughs> It's 
pretty good. <laughs> Okay, this is coming out of the clean channel, but because I'm able to turn it up so much, it's actually breaking up a little bit. And you get that lovely kind of, uh, dare I say it, Stevie Ray kind of tone. Okay, so that was the end of the uh, little demo. Um, I hope you found that interesting and that um, my guitar playing was good enough for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you for watching.